Hi and welcome to this uh, tutorial on answering this question in ROS Answers. So in this question, this user has a problem with his URDF when he spawns it and he has multiple problems due to the fact that he or she imported from SolidWorks using the SolidWorks to URDF plugin. So using the plugin sometimes gives you some incoherences or some things that might not be exactly what they should to work in Gazebo. So uh, one of the problems is that it appears that the model appears collapsed. Apart from other things like it doesn't find any some of the joints and so on. So they have already given an answer uh, talking about the that it's due to the fact the the fact of URDF to SDF conversions uh, and the fixed joints. So this is one of the problems that it might have, but I'm going to explain the reason and how to solve the problem that this model doesn't appear correctly when you spawn it and appears collapsed. This is due basically to uh, joints breaking and inertias being uh, uh, not correct, okay? So I've done a simple example that shows what happens and how to solve it. So I've used for this uh, ROS Development Studio, which is a web-based uh, ROS development uh, environment, but you can do it locally with your ROS, no problem with that. I'll post all the code in the description and in the answer. Uh, well, let's start. So the first thing, I'm going to launch a simulation, which I have here already. And I've launched this, let me show you. So I have the IDE here, which I've already launched through here. So code editor, you see, and then I have also web shell. You can have it also here, but for me, it's it, for the tutorial, I think it's better that I show you here in the different tabs, okay? But it's the same simulation. So the thing is, uh, I have, I've created this project, which is called Car Design for, which is a package, and inside it, I've, I've defined a main launch, which launches a world, and this world, which is test world, is a simple world with the sun and with a ground plane. I've also done one for gravity testing with no gravity. This allows us to see why something, why this model doesn't work and collapses like this. And we'll see in a minute. So I've launched the main launch and in this world and now this world that we have here we are now going to spawn so I have it here prepared already so what the little so oh let me let me launch first I'm going to launch a very simple example on what happens so if you launch this, let, let me actually let me let me do it there, so we can see better. So oh no, I'll I'll launch it here. Yeah. So if you launch this, you see that there we go. So it appeared correctly, but when it touches the floor, for some reason, physics. Um, it breaks and when a gazebo model breaks, the joints break, then it collapses and all the elements go to the zero, zero, zero coordinates. So why does this happen? So let's, let's have a look. So this model that you have here is a simplified, very simplified version of this model. I've just uh, use geometric shapes to uh, to represent the different elements just because I didn't have the STLs. So let's have a look. So 
So in here, in the URDF, we have the original file, which is this one. And as you can see, for example, in the links, you have meshes. Yeah? So in my case, what I'm using here, which is um, this one in this case, the one that we just spawned, it's a more simplified version. As you can see, it has a lot of elements commented, but it has, instead of the geometry uh, mesh that we have here, it has geometry box. But essentially, it's the same thing. Why? Because we're using the same inertias and so on. And I've made some changes, but basically, it's that. So, how do we solve this? Or how... How did I discover this? Well, I made a, a simplified version of this, this model completely, which is this uh, car fix physics in this case. And I've made the same elements, but I've put geometric shapes and I've remade the inertias. I tested all the elements. They seem to work okay. There were some, ele some elements that I'll comment now, but that should be changed. But basically, the, the error that gives this is the inertias. If you do it all exactly the same as the original file, but you don't uh, remake the inertias, it collapses. Okay? So, my solution, what I've done. So my solution is the following. Uh, I've, I'm going to comment every aspect that I've changed because I think that it's interesting. But I'll go fast on those elements and I'll concentrate on the problematic element. If you have any questions, just put it in the, put it in the questions below or in the comments in, in the answer um, post that I'll post. So. One thing that I've changed is the definition of the material. Instead of putting it here explicitly, I've, I do it here and then I use this tag to make the, uh, the links definition a bit cleaner. But it doesn't have any effect on the physics. Also, I've defined this gazebo um, elements, so the materials and properties, physical properties, this, this for example, the material gives this yellow, yellow color that you didn't see in the original. That's because although you can put any color that you want here, any material here in the link that it won't appear in gazebo, why? Uh, because you have to define it as a gazebo material, this will affect the, the color visualization in RBIS. Okay, so I've made both. And I've more or less selected gazebo materials that are more or less similar to the colors um, defined here. But you could do a, a custom material. So the next thing I've done is, of course, I've changed the the values of the origins and so on, just because the SCLs have different origins maybe that the geometric shapes. So I've made like zero, zero, zero. And the most important part is this, the inertias. As you can see, I've made very simple inertias based on geometric shapes. And for some reason, if you put geometric shapes, but you put this inertias, it doesn't work. The, the proof, the proof is this one. This one is exactly the same as the one here, which this one does work, but as you can see, has the original inertias. Uh, let's have a look on how it works, the one that works. So let's remove this model and let's launch. Mm -hmm. There we go. And there we go. So here it's the whole element with the 
different links. And as you can see, the physics are working perfectly. So I can grab it and move it around and turn it a bit and just works. Okay. And it doesn't collapse. This is the important part. And the thing is, it doesn't have, it's only the inertias. The joints don't, don't have anything to do there. So I've made, for example, let's have a look to the wheel joints. So for example, here, I stated the physics, the effort, like humongous, okay? And here also, the one, this one is the one that doesn't work and you stay the same, but this has to do more when you move it around and the efforts and the in the joints, but it breaks anyways. Why? Because of these inertias is the only thing that changes. So how did I calculate this? Because, okay, I have my own robot and I have to do this. How do I do this? Well, I highly recommend that you first use mm, basic geometric shapes for the collisions if you can. And that way you can have a better understanding of the physics of your model, the basics of your model. And then when you have it, then you can substitute the, the collisions to models, to STLs or simplified versions of the, um, of the 3D meshes. So to calculate this, we, what we can do, what I've done, I have a script that, that I'll post in the answer which is, let me see, plus run, uh, spawn, robot tools, inertias, calculator. And it's a simple calculator for uh, uh, basic geometric shapes, inertias. So what I have here is I select, for example, the box, then I select, let me see, for example, um, wait a sec. So this one, for example, there we go. We state the mass. We state the dimensions of the box in this case. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0, 0, 0.1. So it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.001. 0, 0, 0, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And there you go. And it calculates the inertias. And once you have it, then you state this one and you copy paste them in the correct place. There we go. So 0, 0, 018 and so on. And you do this for each and one, each of the, the links. And that way it works. And that's quite it. So that's one of the solutions for this problem that you have here. Of course, you might have more problems based on, on, the, uh, on the different issues that you talk about here. So if you have more issues after trying this and making the robot model appear as it should, then uh, I will be happy to do more videos about this for certain topics and so on. And that's it. So uh, thank you very much and hope this was useful and think about subscribing if you want to have more information and more knowledge about Ross videos and so on and see you soon, bye!